Welcome to day three of Flat Track Fever 2024. Getting us started is Toronto Men's Roller Derby in white going up against the Outcast from Puget Sound in blue. Awesome. Uh, skating for Puget Sound in blue, we got 1-8, Mai Tai Smashia, 2-1, Bambushka, 2-4, Hater, 3-6-9, Global Storming, 3-7, Riot, 6, Deadly Long Legs, 6-6, six, six, Rampage, 7-1, Jimmy Rage, 8-5, Rogar, 9, Fluffy, and 9-3, Malibu Zombie. And joining me now in the house booth is Chevy Impaler. Who do we got seen for Toronto, Chevy? We have number 06, Starscream. Number 11, Billy the Kid. Number 12, Stevie Stitches. Number 137, D-Ray. Number 1701, Pip. Number 222, Spencer Sleep. Number 2304, Dijon. Number 25, Bosch. Number 42, 42, Luke Ness Monster. Number 6, Nat. Number 81, The Dictator. And number 911, The Good Huss. Good Huss. There might be a little bit more sass today as Chevy Impaler is my offspring. They might be a little sassy with me. I might be, I might be poking the bear. Jamming for Toronto, we got Stevie Stitches. That, and then for, that is Rogar going for Puget Sound. Rogar stood up and runs into Bosch. Doesn't quite get through. Calls that jam, scores three. Keeps Toronto only one. We just sound have a little bit deeper bench than they did yesterday. Yesterday's game, they only had nine skaters. I do believe Mai Tai, Mai, Mai tai Smash yet, and Rogar were not skating last night for the Outcasts. We got Global Storming going up against D Ray. Both jammers get through. D-Ray comes around, calls out that jam. Doesn't score any points, but neither does Global Storming. Looks like Toronto got two on that last jam. We got an official timeout. Looks like we got Lady Beard and Jax helping out Puget Sound, doing some bench coaching. That's probably why Puget Sound has that little bit deeper bench. A couple of people that were bench coaching yesterday, I do believe, are now skating in this game. Did you like getting up early this morning, Chevy? No, never. How long have you been playing derby? Five years now. It'll be five in September. What what team do you skate for? I skate for Calgary Junior Roller Derby, and I am aging out this year. You age out in October. And hey, isn't Squid Vicious one of your coaches? Wave to Squid. Yeah, he is. We beat him up a lot. This official timeout is an excellent time to remind everyone that our jam line is sponsored by 
Oh, I don't have my thing. It's oh, I can't remember the first word. Is it real mo real mobility chiropr chiropractic? Oh, where did I put my sheet? There it is. Full mobility chiropractic. Oh my goodness. I said it so many times yesterday. You'd be surprised, and I can't believe I can't remember it. Penalty boxes. W sponsored by WTDFI. The scoreboard announcement is uh, sponsored by Roller Derby Level Up. And we also got some uh, vendors here this weekend. Uh, Bad Girlfriend Skates packed up last night, so they are not here. Uh, we do have Nerd in the corner there. We got Roller Derby Level Up. I don't think they are here at all. Mile Lab will be here later on today at 11, from 11 to 6. And we got Calgary Roller Derby, Calgary Junior Roller Derby have a table with some swag. They'll be here a little bit later. And we also have Chinook City Roller Derby has a table with some swag. Getting ready to start this jam. There'll just be Hater going against Luke Ness Monster. And Hater quickly on the outside. Luke chased down and is now chasing down. Letting him know that there is Luke Ness Monsters right on Hater's heels. Hater comes through. Scores some points. Gets a signal to keep on going. Looks like Pip is taking a penalty. Pip will be going to the box to feel shame. The hater is able to score seven points on that jam. Puts Puget Sound up seven or ten to six. Nat going to be jamming here for Toronto Roller Derby. Going up against Rogar. Rogar's push on that pack, trying to get through. Runs into Bosch and sleep. The dictator comes to help out. Jimmy fell in the pack there. Nat gets through first. That'll be deadly long legs. Gave a bit of chase. Bench giving Nat a bit of direction. Says points and call. Rogar was able to get past Pip, who came out of the box and score one point. Toronto put up two. Closing that gap, it's only three points now. You can talk, Chev. So we global storming now going up against Stevie Stitches. I don't know if you were here last night watching Global go. But Global was flying around that track and flying over those apexes. Global takes advantage of that no pack call. It will sneak past the get past everyone. Skating on a power jam. Getting a signal from the scorer that keeps skating. Took out his good house, going for a penalty. Global Storming sent back more again by Bosch.
Stevie gets through. They took the star off, put the star on upside down. Who we got jamming in this one, Chev? It's in the it's in the dark green. We have number one three seven D Ray for Toronto and number two four Hater for the Puget. Just say Ocas. You just say Ocas. Hater pops through. Well, looks like Deary got hit by a phantom blocker there at the end. They can be tricky sometimes. You never see them coming. Now we see Hader kind of spun around to get his backside in there, score those quick two points, call off that jam. You just need your hips to pass the hips of the opposing team in order to score points. This is Rogar going again now, this time against Luke Ness Monster. Luke. So Rogar got through, but then got cycled back. So he did score lead jam status, got cycled to the back. Then Luke able to get through, was on a scoring pass, so Rogar called that jam before he had a chance. We got a timeout here. Was this an official timeout? Yeah, official timeout. That's a team timeout. Team timeout. Are you sure? Oh yeah, Toronto took a timeout. It does say so on the scoreboard. That's so far away, and I'm 50 years old, I can't see that stuff. That's why I have a sheet in front of me. I'm wearing my contacts. If I wasn't wearing my contacts, I couldn't see Jax standing in front of me. If I didn't have my contacts in, I would not be able to see you. You'd just be a blur. It's because the mic blocks my mouth. Charles' timeout is over. Doesn't help if you never. So we nat now global, global storming. Both teams starting with two blockers in the box. Nat trying to get through. Oh. Able to push their way through. So excellent work there by Riot and Deadly Longlegs holding Luke off as, or Nat off as much as possible. Nat comes through. Deadly Longlegs. Excellent work there. Excellent work there by Daddy Longlegs holding Nat back and keeping Nat from getting around there and possibly scoring more than four. I'm glad to see Daddy Longlegs is back skating in this game. They did get hurt the last game, so always good when the skaters come are able to skate in the next game. This is Stevie Stitches now, going up against Hader. Ooh, body's spinning around, Pip falling over the Dictator. A bench calling for Stevie to call that. They spin around, score a couple and call.
It's now be D-Ray taking on Rogar. Sleet holding that wall. Rogar almost able to get through. Excellent work there. And Sleet pushes Rogar out again. Oh, and D Ray's taken off. That's going to put Rogar on a power jam. Rogar. And that also means this jam is now two minutes long, the full two minute jam. We're skating for the full two now. Bench yelling at them. Looks like Darkwell Ducks also helping out with some bench coaching. Rogar just has to get past Sleet. Takes a hit but stays in bounds. Deary taking a run at this pack. Rogar with a quick pass off of the penny, penny there. So now stars with Jimmy. Jimmy fixing that star, making sure it's facing out. And that is it for the jam. Toronto put up eight on that jam, but Puget Sound able to put up some points as well. Scoreboard's getting a little fixed. We'll figure this out. They did put up 10 that jam, so able to open that lead up a little bit more. We got 34 to 22. And Global storming quickly through the pack. This will be Luke that he's facing again. Daddy Longlegs is out there doing some excellent work there, holding off the, those jammers. Sometimes it doesn't matter how, you don't have to completely stop the jammer. You just need to slow them down enough. Open up that gap so your jammer can score points. This is now Hater. Going up with Nat. Peter with that, if you were watching last night, that very familiar hop. There's lots of jumping and flying by Hater and Global Storming. Hater knocked out of bounds, calls off that jam, was able to score three. What's the score now, Chevy? It is 22 to 41. Oh, Dark Wheels dancing on the that jam line and offs the call a timeout. And can we just give a shout out for to Puget Sound for driving 13 hours to come join us here today? 13 hour drive to come join us today at Flat Track Fever.
Everyone enjoys the timeout, even the rest get to take a break. This game is also a sanctioned men's roller derby game. This will count on the standings. A men's team has to play five games a year in order to maintain their sanctioning. This helps Toronto get a couple of three in. Rogar, awesome dancing on the inside line. Stevie comes up to the tack. Stevie's going off for a back block there. Rogar getting the signal that they are on a power jam. And guess what that also means? What does that mean, Chevy? The full two minutes. This means a power jam and a full two minute jam. Rover trying to get through that pack. Oh, was tripped up by his own pl player. That would be Riot that just fell. Stevie came back in and they, Puget Sound there smartly kind of stretched that pack to make them come all the way back. Rogar gets knocked out. He's getting cycled back by the dictator. The ends of these two minute jams are always hard. Just fighting and fighting. Roger puts the star back on. Looks at the clock. And thankfully that two minute jam is over. That's back to back jams that Roger Roger had that went two minutes. Global Storming is back. They, you know, I think they might have had a little bit of an equipment malfunction. Saw him skate off for there earlier. Going up against D-Ray. So there's a little bit of confusion there. That's sleep there for Toronto. It's going off for a forearm. Global gets past Fluffy. D-Ray telling the team what to do. Spins around, scores three and calls it. Sleeve will be starting this jam in the box for Toronto. Now Hater. Excellent track awareness. Realizing that they did not get knocked out there by, that would be Bosch. It will stay in bounds. Bosch looks for the hit and misses. Almost had Hater. But as we saw last night, Hater's pretty elusive sometimes and is a little pretty hard to hit some once in a while. This will be Nat going up with this. This is Global Storming again. Nat gets through. 
Global. He tried to keep in, but does, does get called on that cut. Jimmy, some solid D there. Held that back for a few seconds. Toronto able to go on the full offense. Got a Philly to form there on the dictator. That's Malibu Zombie there trying to rejoin the pack. Knocked around. Global Storming. Finishes their initial pass. Nat calls that jam off before they have a chance to score any points. Nat able to close that lead. Scoring 10 points. How many points difference is this now, Chevy? 11 point difference. Who's, who's, who's doing this jam, Chev? For Toronto, it is 1-2, Stevie Stitches. And for the Outcasts, it is 2-4, Hater. Hater, coming around. Scores that lead jam fast, fast pretty quick. Stevie going off for a high block. Hater getting the signal here from Jackson. They're on a power jam. No pack call. Let's Hater quickly get past Sleep. Just under 10 minutes left in this half. Comes through, scores three more points, calls that jam off. Stevie cycled back a bit, but did not go behind the whole pack, so it gets called on that cut penalty. That puts Global on the power jam. Oh, spins around, but can't quite stay in. Stevie stands, Global calls it to free Stevie in the box. So since Stevie's standing, we know they have 10 seconds or less left of that penalty. It also means the outcasts are starting with a power jam. Quick little 10 second power jam. The biggest advantage is all their blockers can now play offense to help Rogar get through quick. That pack is moving fast. And they do. Bosch gives chase. But the pack falls apart, so they have to rejoin the pack. Stevie has joined the hunt. Looks like Rogar just sneaks in right behind Stevie. Roger watching Stevie. And calls that jam. Bosch was hoping for a call there. Oh, 
I'm going to go ahead and official review here by official review by Old One or Peach by the South. Outcast. So the Outcasts are looking for a call. They're looking for a cut call on the White Jammer. Uh, there was an instance where they feel that the White Jammer stepped out of bounds and came in ahead of their tripod. So you cannot cut your own team. So they're looking for a cut penalty on that. reviewing a call so they feel that uh, Stevie got knocked out uh, stepped out and then came back in but their tripod had moved behind them so they were looking for a cut call on their own team and it looks like they did not get it so they do not retain their official review for this half We've now got Hater going up against D Ray. D Ray, I believe, is one of the Team Canada Junior uh, like physio coach or something like that. I don't, I don't know exactly what capacity they have with Team Canada Juniors, but I know they are a big part of Team Canada Juniors. D Ray with a little hop, caught by Jimmy. Oh, and D-Ray, he quickly sneaks around the outside. Hater pushing on that pack. That wall that is sleep. Oh, Hater sneaks in there, tries to get him. Can't. Just over six minutes left in this game, or half, sorry, not game. <laughs> Score 50 to 68, 18 points separating these teams. Super close game. And Luke is quickly through that pack. Luke gets through, scores quick four. Oh, and Sleep is going off for a back block. Oh, Good House is going out. Trying to get off and got caught by D Deadly Longlegs. I don't know if Deadly knew that they were going off for a penalty. Deadly's been awesome out there. Like they've been getting in the way all the time as much as possible. Both Jammers have scored four. Luke, looks where it is. Quickly zips through. 
Were they able to score any before they got that call? They got two points. They did score two points. We are going to have an official timeout. Now going to be jamming up against Hayter. Hayter's on a power jam. Hater comes through. Scores four. From Dark Wheel and Lady Bear giving some direction. Good house now going. There we go. Just glad some penalties. Hater cycle back again. I think Nat is still on their initial pass. 34 seconds left. Oh, Fluffy goes down, chasing that, but able to. Hater spins around, able to pick up one more before he calls off that jam. Gives him nine points, twenty-one points separating these two teams. Two and a half minutes left. Stevie, Stevie Stitches is through. Gets that lead jam status, chasing, she's down by. Toronto got one point on that jam before they called it off. D right now with Hater. Familiar matchup. Chased down there by, that is, Riot and Deadly Longlegs. D-Ray, here's the bench calling for them to call it. Calls off that jam. And calls an official review. Oh, how many points does Toronto have? 69 points. Noise. 69, noise. 
to 85 for Puget Sound. I think it was at Simpsons where there was an episode where I think someone wants to choose number 69. And they're like, why? I don't know. I just hear it's the funniest number. Oh, Toronto's calling for an official review. Oh, I missed that. I didn't. Well, you should have got up there and get in there and find out what it is, Chev. You have more business getting up there than me, as you do ref as well. Did you riff at flat track last year? Yes, I did. Darkwheel Duck and Ladybeard, who are bench coaching along with Jax here for Puget Sound were actually playing against Puget Sound last night with their dogs. Glad to see them helping out. Maybe we also enabled Puget Sound to skate, have two more skaters, otherwise they would have had uh, no bench coach. Because I do believe my Mighty Smashia and uh, Rogar were both bench coaching yesterday for Puget Sound. Tidy up. <laughs> we have another mic. Where'd that other mic go? It appears there will only be time for one more jam. Unless it's a really short jam. D Ray comes through. Looks like Toronto did lose that official review. Oh, global storming. Able to pull off a whip on his own player, get through the, on the inside. It's a no pass. Here he looks, calls that off, and it looks like we will have time for one more jam. As this next jam will start with about five seconds left. Only 12 points separating these teams. 73 to 85. One power jam can get these two teams tied. Sorry? One power jam is enough to get these two teams tied. Or even just like solid defense on one jammer not being able to get through. That's Fluffy coming in to try and help out Hater. Cannot. Both jammers are cycled back. And we go on. We're going back, way back. Hater taking a no pass, no point. Oh, actually, he gets lead jam. Look at that. Lucas Monster held back there by Deadly Long Legs. Fluffy, Jimmy, and I do believe that is, oh, uh, that's Riot. No, that's not, that's, oh, Agony Christie. And Hater scores three points, calls that jam. We are now at the half. 15 minutes uh, halftime, 15 points separating these two teams. Welcome back. We got 40 seconds here till the start of the second half. Close game here between Toronto Men's Roller Derby and the Outcast from Puget Sound.
still joining me in the announce booth is a Chevy Impaler. Say hi, Chevy. Hello. Who you texted? Who you texted? Your virtual boyfriend? Your AI boyfriend. You're not supposed to say shit. Oh, snap. Rogar starting this jam off. Nat's hiding there behind Rogar. I couldn't see them. Jam started. Nat pushing on. Trying to get through on the inside. Does manage to squeak through on the inside there. Rogar cycled back. Rogar cycled back again there by Sleet. Nat gets through, scores four. Closing this gap. Looks like there was a possible call on Rogar, but it does not get made. Now we're able to put four more. Brings the score to 81 to 88. Seven points now separating these two teams. Super close game. We've had a lot of close games this weekend. I don't know if anyone was here for that rookie game, but it ended on the last jam. Oh. No one saw that, Squid. No one saw that. Stevie gets through. Oh. There is something on the floor there or something. That's... That's twice in a row, though. That's there's something. You okay, Squid? That's seems like it may have been a rock. It may have been a rock. Hopefully, twice in the same spot. It has to be something. D Ray threw quick. Global storming. Oh, able to stay in bounds. Using Fluffy there as a whip. And D Ray pops through. And just has a foot go out. Fluffy there knocks Sleep out to keep, make sure the Globals doesn't have to cycle all the way back. D Ray split up eight. Global Storming split up four. D Ray opting not to call the jam. Saying they're going to keep going. Global Storming opting to play a little bit of offense there. Or defense. Knock D Ray out. Missed the hit. Oh, Fluffy now going off. Toronto now only down by two. Deere dances through like the they outside. Just took the lead. And a nice little apex jump there by Global Storming. Oh. Lead's going to be changing back and forth here all the time. D Ray comes through, gets through, scores four. That's going to put Toronto in the lead. Global opening play full offense, or full defense, sorry. 
I guess who scores four, calls it. A storming score of four as well. Puts Toronto only up by two points. We have a lead change. So in four and a half minutes, they erased that 15 point deficit and now actually have a two point lead. Just a reminder as well, after this game at 11 o'clock, we got the Redneck Bettys taking on the NF Bombs from Red Deer. And then at one o'clock, we got the, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong, <laughs> I'm on the wrong day. We got Team Ontario taking on the Redneck Bettys. Then at one o'clock, we have the Northern Pikes taking on the Natural Born Thrillers. At 3 p.m., we got the Bombs taking on the All-Stars. And at 5 p.m., we got the Reservoir Dogs taking on Toronto Men's Roller Derby. Strong get to start the day and end the day. Looks like Rogar's gone off for a penalty. And Rogar comes back. Sleep is cycling Rogar back. Tries to get through, can't. Both blockers run into that wall, or jammers run into that wall of blockers for each team. Team Blue is calling a timeout. Dark Quill giving some advice, talking to the team. Dark Quill was on the dogs team that played Toronto at, earlier on this tournament on the Friday. On the Saturday. Sorry, what? The dog. Oh. Dogs vs. Toronto on. Okay. Yeah. Two, 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 sleep. We now got Hater skating against Nat. <laughs> Toronto have a one twenty four to one oh seven lead. Oh, so something happened there. I'm not sure what happened there. Ooh. Hater trying to push through that line. Hader had lead jam status. It'll sneak one point in there and call that jam off. Makes that score 128 to 112. This will be Rogar now jamming against Stevie Stitches.
Beauregard gains lead jam status. Stevie runs into, that is, I do believe that is Riot. Holding Stevie back as long as possible. Rogar just has to get past Sleep. Sleep gives Rogar a bump. They were able to score three points and call off that jam. Global warming going up here. Global storming going up against D Ray. D Ray gets through. Excellent track awareness there by Global. Knowing when skaters fall and go out of bounds that they don't have to cycle behind. D-Ray signaling he's gonna keep going. Sleep and Pip, they're holding that inside line knowing that Global likes to make that jump. Taking away that apex jump ability. D-Ray casually goes through on the outside. D-Ray runs into Global Storming. Almost gets through. Like Global's called now on a cut. That's gonna put D-Ray on what? A power jam. D-Ray putting up 20 points so far this jam, looking for more. 24. I do believe this is pretty close to the highest scoring jam of the weekend. Puts up 28 and calls it. I am 95% sure that might be the highest scoring jam of the weekend. Global was able to put up two. Everyone getting position. Lukeness Monster quickly through, scores lead jam status. Global hunted down by Bosch, flailing around the track. Bosch takes him right to the limit. Bodies falling everywhere. Haters are now going off for a forearm. Luke gets through the pack and calls off that jam. This will put Rogar out on the track as a jammer. Up against Nat. Nat just has to get past Fluffy and Ken. Um, 
Nat will call that jam after scoring three points. So put Toronto up 167 to 121. How many point differential is that, Chevy? 46. Good math. Good math, Chev. Looks like Puget Sound has called another timeout. It's catching their breath. We'll do this on the next timeout. See, where's, where's Dev? I'm going to go find Dev. You can call this next jam. would help if I turn that on. Just need to have this ready for the next time out. Heater comes out of the box. And Stevie scores lead jam status. That is Jimmy now damning for the first time today. And Stevie able to score four. Keeps on going. Jimmy there watching to see where sleep was. See if they had to go all the way back. And they are called on a cut. That's going to put stitches on a power jam. Stevie just has to get past Hater. Excellent work there. Fluffy shoving Hater into Stevie, knocking them out of bounds. Toronto able to put up 12 more points. And Toronto has called a timeout now. I don't know how, how many more timeouts there are going to be, so I'm going to just come out now. Today is number 85 from Puget Sound, Rogar's birthday. So, Rogar, Rogar, I need to steal you for a sec. You can't hear me because the mics are facing the other way. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rogar. Happy birthday to you.
timeout is over. D-Ray now going to be jamming. And Jimmy starting this jam in the box. D-Ray secures lead jam status. Toronto now up by 58 points. At half, they were down by 15. So in 15 minutes, they have not only erased a 15-point deficit, but now have a 58-point lead. D-Ray, Hadley Jeff's ass is going to the box. What does that mean, Chevy? Two-minute jam. Two-minute jams. Rogar getting worked on by sleep. And Jimmy's like, yeah, I know, I know. I'll roll the box. Rogar knocked out by sleep. Push on that group. Is able to sneak past Bosch. Oh, D Ray looking for a little eat the baby on Rogar. Able to stay inbounds. Rogar glances at the clock. D Ray sneaks through. Scores four more. As they will extend that lead now to 62. Luke Ness Monster going to be jamming up against Global Storming. Luke getting worked on there by Hader and Fluffy. Luke is cycled back now by Fluffy. Global gets through, is able to score points now. Then so Luke's opting to. Opting to play offense or defense a little bit there, hold him back. Well, Global took a no pass, no pay point. No pass, no point there gives. Gave Luke the opportunity to score lead jam status and then call that jam. Global was able to score three before that got, jam got called. D Ray pushing on that pack now. Solid work there by Rampage. Agony Christie and Bambushka holding, holding D-Ray back as long as possible. D-Ray a little hop around to get four points. Rogar taking the, trying to get through. D-Ray scores another four.
Wilger comes back through on that Tron defense and powers through. D-Ray pushes past, gets through uh, Jimmy there. Scores another four points. It's about 16 this jam. Bosch is now going to go to the box and sit and feel shame. Rogar pops through on the inside. D Ray fakes the inside, goes out. Seven seconds left. Killing some. Uh, Killing, killed the whole penalty there for Bosch. Looks like Bosch does not have. Penalty ended just as the jam ended as well. Hey, Chevy. Guess how many points are separating these two teams? 69. Noise. 215 to 46. Toronto with a 69 point lead. Fluffy looking for the hit, couldn't quite get it, and then fell. Hater quickly gets through as well. Bench yells at Stevie. Score four and call. Luke Ness Monster going to be going up against Global Storming now. And Luke quickly sneaks through on the inside. Storming chased down a bit there by the Dictator. Luke went down, takes Bambushka with him. Jimmy gives a bit of a chase, tries to push him out. Global trying his best to stay in. Is now going to eat the baby. But Luke is on the inside, so he can take the short track around. And gets through on that inside. That little bit of strategy needing the baby there worked out. Luke now just eating clock. And Global Storming now going on the D. Luke gets through. Bench just saying, just keeps, just keep skating. Generally, with that one-on-one -on -one battle, you're never gonna win. Your option is just to hold off as long as possible. Oh, go find out what this official review is for, Chev. Go lean in. Go lean in. Go lean in. Go quick, 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 quick. Chevy's going to lean in there and see if they can find out what this global, this official review is for. What? What's it for? Uh, the left arm, the right hander, and the back arm. 
They're going to be looking for a low black on the white jammer for not falling small. Low block on the white jammer. So the rest will form a quorum and decide. Chat sisters. We good. Noise. 84 point differential. Which is crazy because there was a Puget Sound was up by 15 at the half. But a 29, 28 to 0 jam will do that. So it looks like Puget Sound did win that official review. So that penalty did fall on Luke. We are now at looking five and a half minutes left. Hayter's gonna start this on a power jam. Hader held back there by D-Ray. D-Ray now on playing defense. They were going to be the jammer. And Hader finally gets through that pack. A long 30 seconds. And Fluffy there is taking a penalty. Luke is able to get through. Hater calls that jam. Was able to sneak two points in there. Looks like we might have a forearm penalty as well. So there we go. It looks like there was a forearm penalty there called on Pip. Pip, I believe. Rogar now out. Roger was a little bit high there on Bosch. 
Does end up taking a high block. Just over three, or just under three and a half minutes left. Stevie scores four points on a power jam. And the bench telling Stevie to keep on skating, score more points. Eat some clock. Oh, Stevie, nice little putting the brakes on to get past Fluffy. Oh, the dictator now heading to the box as well. And Fluffy takes the star and chased down by Bosch. Fluffy's now your jammer for the outlaws, oh, outcasts, sorry. Fluffy runs into Bosch. We'll now have to go back. The jam is called. Oh, we're gonna have an official review here. This will be Toronto calling for an official review, looks like. We'll find out. Run. See what it was for. And Chevy will now tell us what that official review is about. It is trying to make a call about a forearm on the uh, blue number, on blue number nine. Blue number nine after the star pass when they fell. We'll also take the time, this time to clean up. Looks like there might have been, a, there's a little bit of blood on the flat track. Thanks to our medics for volunteering their time. Help us out, be able to clean up all these biohazards and also look after our skaters should an injury occur on the track and they have to come out and help them. They were put to work last night. There were a few injuries that uh, people had to get taken off. And Global storming quickly through the pack. Oh, they are called on a cut. D Ray just had to get past Hater and does. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That is Rampage caught enough of D-Ray to make D-Ray knock out and have to go back. There's a failure to reform penalty on White 222. Global Storming comes in, tries to go through on the inside there. D Ray knocked out on the inside, calls off that jam. We got one minute left. And looks like Hellcast are calling another official review. They won their last one, so they still they get to retain it. They do have a second official review. So, they are looking for a forearm call on one of the, on the white jammer in the previous round. They're looking for a forearm on the white jammer? Yep. Now, regardless of the outcome of this, they will lose their official review because this is their second one. And they won their first one, so they do not retain this official review. Whether they win it or not. Jimmy Rage going to be jamming against Luke Ness Monster. Luke ends up in a hater and fluffy sandwich. Able to bounce back up and securely jam. Glow or Jimmy with the jump. Jimmy and Apex jump scores four. Luke skating this one out. Looking up at the clock. Calls that jam off. That will end our game. The unofficial score, 265 to 161. Toronto were able to erase a 15 point deficit at the half and able to win by 104. And we'll see everyone in, sorry, what? Can we what? What? Yes, we can get fries, Chevy. 
Oh yeah, we need, and don't forget your MVPs. Most valuable blocker, most valuable jammers. 